I'm Brian Henson, the Director of Curriculum and Instructors here at the NRVTA. There was a challenge thrown out by Todd not too long ago, and Jeremy fulfilled his last week, and I'm going to fulfill mine today. I've got a couple of questions that I have not seen, and I'm going to read them to you, and then I'm going to answer the questions for you. Here we go. Welcome to another Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy the largest hands-on RV training academy in America. Hey, before we get to the video, which I know this is the reason why you're here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything. Hit the subscribe button now. Thank you. Now, back to our Tech Tip Tuesday. This is a letter from Chris Brown. It says, hello, I'm a former student and will be signing up for the pro course this Friday. I was wondering if you'd be able to answer a technical question concerning the Lippert LCI electronic leveling system. We just traded our travel trailer for a 2021 Coachman Miranda 29FW. I'm currently parked in my driveway, which has at least a three degree slope. Back of the coach is higher than the front. When I use the auto leveler, the front wheels of the coach are off the ground by at least four to five inches. I know this isn't good. I have had the same result with the manual level uh, attempt. Is the three degree slope too much for the leveling system to handle? Thank you very much. First of all, to understand that the wheels being off of the ground is not necessarily a good thing, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. There's a couple ways that I would actually approach this. Level up with it and then put some blocks under that front axle so that it'll be held up. If not, the shackles on there could twist over and then your axle will be out of position. The other way to do it is to actually get something like an Anderson block to where you can drive up on it and actually support that axle. It's not necessarily a bad thing for the Lippert leveling system, but it does need to be supported. So if I was you, I'd definitely look at blocking it up and making sure it's supported so that when you're ready to go camping, you can hook up and head out. Why do most Lippert leveling systems give a low voltage from William Harris? A Lippert leveling system needs a lot of voltage to be able to pick your rig up and level it out. If you're not using your converter, which means you're not plugged into shore power, you will definitely need to have that extra voltage. One of the ways that I actually look at it is see what the voltage is being pulled under load while you're trying to use your leveling system. So I would definitely check your voltage coming down. If you'd like to check your voltage at your battery without the converter on, you can always use a load tester on it to see if it's good or bad or needs a little charging. Sometimes these batteries, even if they're new, they don't come off the shelf fully charged. So you may have to put a charge on them to be able to get them through. Your multimeter may show that you have got a full load on it without a charger on it or under a load. If you put a load tester on it, it'll actually show you the real voltage of what that battery is capable of doing. So therefore you do need some kind of a charge that converter is gonna help you get those levelers down and into position for you even with the battery low. If you do have a low battery, disconnect the battery on the negative side and let the converter do its job. That would be because the converter is pushing 13.4, 13.5 volts, which is overriding the battery. The reason you disconnect the battery is because the converter is also a charger and it's trying to charge the batteries, doing all the work on that instead of going to your leveling system. And there's your tech tip. All right, before you get to the bloopers, which is why you're here in the first place, the RV industry needs thousands of RV technicians and inspectors, and now is the perfect time to do that. If you want to make more money or have more control over your time, go ahead and click the link below. Or if you just want to learn how to fix your own RV, got something for you there. Head over to rvtechcourse.com and get started today. Now for the reason that you're at the end of the video, roll the bloopers. I was wondering if I, if you, to understand that it is not necessarily the, uh, golly, Brian, to understand that the, it's not, lost it. Mm. Voltage for the, mm. while you're trying to do that, if you definitely, mm. you can always use a, use a the, char, the, sorry, charger or the, sorry. And that's your tech tip. And there's your tip tip. And there's your tech tip.